What happened was they asked me to be the education chair last year uh, when I joined the board. And I thought, well, that'll be easy because we don't have a place to have classes. And I said, you know, it, you, you really can't build an education program unless we really have a space where we can have classes. We have great places um, for exhibitions. You can go and you can look at art and you could admire it. Um, uh, but we didn't have a place um, except for a um, kid spot, which, you know, has a, um, an age limit, and the clay studio. And I was very envious of the clay studio because you walk along High Street in the evening and you see these people on there, yeah. you know, doing this wonderful stuff and having a great time. And I said, that's what we need for drawing and painting and everything else that's not clay. I will never forget. It was a month after I'd started and we had um, an abstract workshop. We had a gentleman come from North Carolina, very well-known teacher, came for a two-day workshop and we were holding it in Kidspot and he walked into Kidspot and he turned to me and he said, you're kidding, right? <laughs> So that was my first inkling was that maybe we needed a, an actual <laughs> space that was dedicated yeah. to adult programs. Yes. And, I, and, and we wanted to do uh, actually two main things in terms of the education program. One, we wanted to serve the local community. Mm -hmm. But two, we also wanted to reach out to areas outside of Chestertown and bring people in uh, to take classes and then they could see Chestertown and they could stay at the B&Bs and eat in the restaurants. And, and, and we're drawing people into town yeah. who wouldn't otherwise come to town necessarily. No, no, no. What's the total amount? 25,000. Well, we just started it in July, uh, and we're halfway there. No, so, we're 80% there. Uh, we are a little over halfway there. <laughs>